friends. In this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Joseph Gillis Mathematical Olympiad 2020 problem number 5. Solve the following equation in positive numbers. Uh, so 2a plus 1, 2a squared plus 2a plus 1 times 2a to the fourth plus 4a cubed plus 6a squared plus 4a plus 1 equals uh, 828,357,056,280,801. Quite a number, don't you think? Okay, uh, uh, this, uh, by the way, this Mathematical Olympiad, Joseph Gillis Mathematical Olympiad, is one of Olympiads in the country of Israel. So it's Israeli Olympiad. My hints for this problem, this enormous number is not totally random. See the pattern in this number, which I color-coded. Uh, a glance at Pascal's triangle and recalling the binomial theorem may be useful, in fact will be useful. And then my last hint, try multiplying left-hand side by a plus 1 minus a over 1, which is my multiplying by 1 over 1. Give this problem a try and I will see you in a moment. Okay. So let's first tackle this large number. As I suggested, this number is not totally random. This number is not totally random because if you write the Pascal's triangle up to the eighth row, you will see that uh, 0, 1, 0, 1 is 8 plus 0. These blue parts are 8 plus 1 and 8 plus 7. Green parts are 8 plus 2, 8 plus 2. 56 is 8 plus 6 and 8 plus 3. Maybe let's write it here. 8 plus 6, sorry. 8 plus 5 should be there. And finally, this middle term is 8 plus 4. Okay, now that's something. So, this entire number can be written as 8 plus 0 plus 8 plus 1 times 100 times 100 times 10 to the second power or 100 plus 8 choose to 100 squared you know what let's write it below oh no here plus 8 choose 3 100 to the third power 8 to the four 100 to the 4th power, 8 choose 5, 100 to the 5th power, 8 choose 6, 100 to the 6th power. And I will make it smaller, so I hit everything in one line. Hopefully you see everything. Plus 8 choose 7, 100 to the power of 7. And that looks almost like the binomial expansion, binomial theorem. But the last part is missing. But it's not a big deal because I can always add 8 choose 8, 100 to the power of 8, and I can also subtract this same number. And now the first nine terms by the binomial theorem will be just 100 plus 1 to the power of 8, and the last part is minus 100 to the power of 8. So we have 101 to the 8th power minus 100 to the 8th power. Okay. And now let's deal. So the right hand side has been simplified a great deal, in my opinion. And now let's take a look at the left hand side. So we have, you know what, I will write it here 2a plus 1, 2a, 2a squared plus 2a plus 1. 2a to the 4th power plus 
4a cubed plus 6a squared plus 4a and finally plus 1. Okay, and now I will write it in the following way. 2a plus 1, I will write as a plus 1 plus a. This part I will write as a squared plus a squared plus 2a plus 1. And the last part I will write as a to the fourth power plus a to the fourth. 4a cubed, 6a squared, 4a plus 1. And now I will do a trick, namely I will multiply by a plus 1 minus a over a plus 1 minus a. And here I have, I will put it in parentheses, a plus 1 plus a. Second part is a, this part is a plus 1 squared. And this part is plus a squared. And this last part, but again, by the binomial theorem, this is a plus 1 to the 4th power plus a to the 4th power. And now, look closely, because he, here we have first a nice formula, something minus something times something plus something. And in the denominator, denominator, denominator we have just one, so we can just multiply these terms in blue um, shape, I don't know, and we'll have a plus 1 squared minus a squared. Okay, and again, the same trick. Here we have something minus something times something plus something. This part will become uh, a plus 1 to the 4th minus a to the 4th. And last, one last time it will be a plus 1 to the power of 8 minus a to the power of 8. Okay, so our equation has the following form a plus 1 to the power of 8 minus a to the power of 8 equals 101 to the power of 8 minus 100 to the power of 8. And now we, sh we see one obvious solution, namely a equals 100 is a solution, but let's now think are there any other solutions? No, there aren't. Why? Because we are dealing with positive integers. And notice that this function right here, maybe I will write it. There are no other positive solutions. Because I don't know what I'm running out of space, so let's put it higher. Because function this function which takes a and maps it to this, this function is increasing. How I know it? Well, it's obvious the bigger the a, the bigger every parenthesis, because we are dealing with positive numbers. So this function is increasing, so it's injective, because this function is injective. So it can, it can attain uh, this value 101 to the power of 8 minus 100 to the power of a only once, and it happens to attain it at a equals 100. And that is our solution. So, yeah, so in these types of problems with big numbers, try to see the pattern. It's a bit of numerology, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching, and I, and I will see you 
Sonra goodbye.